this last Easter, we picked up a few more bunnies, and um, I was told that the ones that we kept were all females, mm -hmm. um, but uh, this week we noticed we have baby bunnies. Oh! So. <laughs> We've recently had some bunnies show up, so um, obviously we need to find out who's not female. Rabbits breed fast and often. If they don't find the male soon, Deborah could have her hands full with baby bunnies. Should we break up that party? Yes, please. We're going to check every last rabbit here. We'll find them. Deborah's three newest rabbits are the top suspects. We're suspecting this white, fluffy one might be the male. OK. He might be the culprit. Trying to tell male from female is not the easiest thing to do. The number one thing you look at is sort of the shape of the opening. Hey, everybody. Come here. OK. Perfect. So if you see sort of a long slit opening, mm -hmm. that's a female. Males are more like a donut hole. Yeah, that the longer slit, that's definitely a female. Mm. So the first one I've looked at is actually a female. That's the good news. And do you know who had the babies? She's pregnant. This one's pregnant. <sighs> I can feel a bunch of babies in there. Oh, great. I can feel at least three fetuses. They feel like the, the large globe grapes that you can kind of feel in their belly. Gestation's around 33 days, so she's probably about a week away from having her bunnies. So who else? We need to find the offending male and, yes. and get him out of here. There are two suspects left to check. How about you? What's your role in this situation? So that's a female. See how it's a longer slit? And don't feel anything at all. When a male is around, it's surprising to have a female rabbit that's not pregnant. She could be super early, but I don't think so. Hold on, beauty. She's making milk. Oh, OK, here's mama. So then, this huh? is the mom to the babies that you oh, just had. OK. With the new mom ID'd, it's important that Deborah takes precautions. Female rabbits can get pregnant again within minutes after giving birth. This is what we know about rabbits, is they breed like bunnies. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's what they do. And as soon as they basically have a litter, they breed again, and your numbers can grow exponentially. Now is a great time to separate her yeah. so she doesn't get pregnant again. Oh, my goodness. With two confirmed females, all signs point to the last suspect as the bunny daddy. Perfect. Any bets? Oh, oh watch your back. <laughs> and the survey says. Female. Oh, man. OK. And pregnant. Oh, my goodness. It's just like, what? There's got to be a male around. There's no immaculate conception in bunnies. There's always a male and a female, and um, we're going to find the male. <laughs> to color the culprit, Michelle turns her attention to some of the longer-term residents of the learning farm. And you think the black one's a female? This one's fixed. OK. The last bunny in the pen is Deborah's former house pet. She chewed up my son's bone cord, so she went outside. That's a female for sure. Yes, okay. maybe we should check. We should her. check. Let's let's be real sure. Deborah's got the last one. She's pretty certain is a female, but I have a sneaking suspicion that that, that is the fox in the hen house. Hold on, hold on, sweetie. Whoa, whoa. Let's see what we got here. Okay, guess what? 